Welcome and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Gold Country Slot Car Racing Association. We've got a great race broadcast today. We're at Dread Pirate Roberts Raceway. This is a two-lane routed MDF track. Now there is incline and banking, so you have to make sure you have your tuning setup dialed in just right and you are ready to race. We've got three classes on the plate today. That's a scale electric British Touring Cars, Slot at DTM, and a Trans Am series. The weather was a bit chilly this morning, but once the sun came out, we had a great day in Northern California. Here's a good look at the track and the scale electric British touring cars going around. We're running spec classes today to make sure the racing stays as close as possible. Minimal changes can be done to the cars. Now the inside lane is quicker around the paddock and up the hill, while the outside lane is quicker down the hill and through the S's. Okay, looks like a slot at DTM race is getting set up. and Let's join the drivers on track. Here we go, the race director is giving a thumbs up. George is in the inside lane, Mario's in the outside lane, and we're about to go green. Both cars get away well. Coming down the hill, we'll see them come around the paddock. Both are Alfa Romeos. I'd like to give a quick shout out to all our viewers. Appreciate it. And uh, if you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned in for all the action. The slot at DTM class is great. There's the Opals, Mercs, Skyline, the couple Alfa Romeos you see on track are the usual suspects at our races. Now one of the, the big things going around are the squeeze lanes. Some people like them, some people don't. Uh, none of our tracks have squeeze lanes. We'd like to make sure the drivers can run side by side as much as possible. It really tests you in a different way. Uh, not so much your patience, but you do have to kind of pick and choose your corners, where you're going to pass, when you're going to pass. Both cars. Oh, looks like George had a little trouble. Oh, Mario came out too. All right, no time lost for both of them, except in the overall grand scheme of things. They may lose a lap or half a lap because of that. Both cars still running side by side though. George has a slight lead, but a couple car lengths ahead coming up the hill. And they're back even. Coming around the paddock. This is a really great race. Both drivers are doing well. Own those couple little mistakes. But they are still side by side. Not sure what happened there. Maybe the braids are pinched. Or maybe George is just taking a little easy. Doesn't want to wreck. Don't want to lose it all in one corner. Here they come again. Both drivers running well. About 4.5 seconds a lap still. Looked like Mario dropped back a little bit. May have slid out in the rear end. Lost a little traction. Now both these cars are running NSR tires, which means the tire dread deg is not that bad. No one is going to stop to roll the tires. There's spec classes, and you want to get as many laps as possible. Now it's an aggregate of both lanes. Whichever driver gets the most laps, well, they win the race. Again, this is the seventh of nine heats. Both cars coming down the hill. Really great race. Again, both drivers doing extremely well. It can be hard to go side. Oh, it looks like we have a little trouble there. We're going to have to get an action replay of that. Didn't quite see it. Okay, here's our action replay. Let's look at both cars coming down the hill. Looks like George gave it a little too much gas, lost the rear end, and that's all it took. Let's join the crew trackside and get back into the race. Looks like uh, George is about half a lap down after that uh, D slot. Again, sometimes in these spec classes, it can be a matter of losing it all in one corner. Mario's running well. Aside from that one D slot coming around the paddock, he has kept it in the slot. It's a good look at George's Alfa Romeo coming down the hill. Okay, looks like Mario's picking up a little bit of ground. He's going about a tenth of a second faster. About 4.4 to George's 4.5s. And again, this is a routed MDF track. It's not your typical flat wood track. There are some tricky aspects to it that the drivers have to get a hang of. Most notably, the uh, the banking. you got to really learn where you can push the car a little bit quicker. You may find a couple of tenths of a second in a corner. Okay, both cars running well. Looks like George's fastest lap was a 4.373. And Mario's was a 4.430. Okay, looks like Mario's picking up a little bit of ground on George. George about half a lap down still. He can make up this time, he just needs to hope for a mistake from Mario. But Mario's running smooth, consistent laps. Both drivers running about 4.4, 4.5 seconds per lap. Again, I can't say it enough, these, these slotted DTM cars are really great. They, uh, there's not a whole lot of setup you have to do to them, run them spec as I said. And uh, they're a whole lot of fun. You get to see a lot of different cars, great liveries on the track. And a perfect little road course like this is well suited to him. All right, we have about a minute and a half to go of this five minute heat. Again, this is the seventh of nine heats. We'll get a look at the podiums after the action. Oh, side by side, lining up again. Mario went for the pass and he made it around the paddock. He's got a couple of car lengths. Looks like he's been released. He's got some clean air in front of him. Okay, both cars coming down the hill, winding through the S's. Okay, as we approach the one minute mark, both cars are coming down the hill. Mario's going to be at 51 laps. George at 50 laps. Both cars are doing around 4.4 seconds a lap. You can see it down there in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. 
And thank you for joining us here at Gold Country Slot Car Racing Association. I'm glad to bring you all kinds of different racing action, whether it's highlights, car spotlights, or these race broadcasts. I uh, hope you enjoy. If you do, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. We race about every couple of weeks. Make sure you, you tune in. Don't miss any of that action. We we'll always bring you different classes, different cars. Good to see them on track. We've got about 45 seconds left. Both cars are still running well. Finding a little bit of extra pace. Mario likes the open air. He's got a little bit more room to roam. Yeah, both Alfa Romeos, great running cars, look great on track, great liveries, not much bad you could say about them. Can be a little top heavy, but you can get that sorted with a little uh, tungsten ballast. Alright, this looks like it's going to be the finishing order. Mario's at 62 laps, George at 61, about a lap and a half down. He can still pray for a miracle, hope that Mario de-slots and he can go around and hopefully catch up and lap. Oh, Looks like he popped out there, maybe finding a little extra grip. The tires are getting extremely warm after this five minute heat. About five seconds left. Mario's, oh, Mario had a little bit of trouble. He de-slotted, but he got it back together really quick. And there's the end of the race. Final lap for both drivers. Looks like Mario's gonna take it with 67 laps. And we're gonna get a look at the podiums here. There's the Trans Am class. The slot at DTM class. And let's get electric British touring cars. Again, thank you for tuning in to Gold Country Slot Car Racing Association. We'll catch you next time.